Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, three semicircle, this uh, white one, the purple one, and this uh, big uh, semicircle put together uh, inside this uh, rectangle, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the side length uh, of this uh, rectangle is uh, eight centimeter, and the area of this uh, blue shaded region is uh, 15 times pi centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded uh, semi-circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know the side length of this uh, rectangle is uh, 8 uh, centimeter. And this is uh, same as the radius uh, of this uh, big semicircle and here's our next step let me label uh, this uh, purple uh, semicircle radius as uppercase r and the radius of this uh, white small circle uh, as uh, lowercase uh, r and now we can see that this uh, radius uppercase r is larger than the radius uh, lowercase r and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, is the diameter of this uh, white uh, semicircle so this is going to be two times uh, r and likewise this is going to be the diameter of this uh, purple uh, semicircle so that is going to be two times uh, uppercase r and furthermore we can see that this is the diameter of this uh, large uh, semicircle so this uh, is going to be two times the radius uh, of this eight so this has become two times eight is going to give us uh, 16 centimeter so therefore uh, two times this uh, smaller case r plus uh, two times uppercase r is going to become equal to 16 so therefore i can write uh, two times the lowercase r plus uh, 2 times uh, uppercase r equal to 16. Let's divide uh, by 2 across uh, the board, dividing each and every term. And now we are going to move this uppercase r to the right hand side. So therefore, uh, lowercase r equals to 8 minus uh, uppercase r. So therefore, keep in mind that lowercase r is equal to 8 minus uh, uppercase r. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, equation and let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, blue shaded area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big uh, semicircle minus uh, the area of this uh, purple uh, semicircle and then minus once again uh, the area of this uh, white uh, semicircle as well. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, big uh, semicircle. And we know the radius of this uh, big semicircle is 8. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius. And since we are dealing with these uh, semicircles, so therefore uh, the semicircle area is going to be this area, pi r square. And then we are going to divide it by 2. So therefore, the area of this uh, big semicircle is going to be pi divided by 2 times uh, its uh, radius is uh, 8 uh, whole square. In other words, we can write this thing as uh, 64 pi divided by 2. We are not going to reduce it at this point. And here's our next step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, semicircle whose uh, radius is uh, uppercase uh, r. And here's the area of semicircle formula that we will be using over here. So therefore, this uh, purple semicircle area is going to be pi times uppercase r square divided by 2. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, white uh, semicircle. So therefore, the area of this white semicircle is going to be pi times uh, the radius of this semicircle is lowercase r. So this is going to become uh, lowercase r whole square divided by 2. And now let's recall uh, this equation lowercase r equals to 8 minus uppercase r. So therefore, I'm going to replace uh, this uh, lowercase r by 8 minus uh, uppercase uh, r. 
So therefore we can write this thing as pi divided by 2 times after substitution. This is going to give us 8 minus uh, uppercase R whole square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus uh, b square. We are going to apply it on this uh, binomial. So therefore uh, this could be written as uh, pi divided by 2 is going to be outside times uh, 64 minus uh, 16 times uppercase r plus uh, uppercase r whole uh, square. So therefore here we are ended up with this uh, area of the white semicircle as well. And now let's recall this uh, equation once again. Here we can see that our uh, blue shaded uh, area is 15 pi. So therefore I'm going to replace uh, this uh, blue area by 15 times uh, pi over here. And we also figured out uh, our big uh, semicircle area the area of this uh, purple uh, semicircle and likewise the area of this uh, white semicircle uh, as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So we got this uh, blue area as uh, 15 uh, times uh, pi equals to big uh, semicircle area is uh, 64 pi divided by 2 and then minus uh, pi uppercase r square divided by 2 and then minus finally pi divided by 2 times 64 minus 16 times uppercase r plus uppercase r whole square. And now in this uh, next step we are going to remove this fraction by multiplying by 2 across the board with each and every term. So therefore on the left hand side 2 times 15 is going to give us 30 pi on the left hand side. And here on the right hand side this 2 and 2 cancels out. 2 likewise cancels out and 2 as well. And now I am going to divide each n term by pi across the board since pi is in common. As you can see in this next step. And now in this uh, next step I am going to distribute uh, this uh, negative uh, sign as you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see 64 and negative 64 they are gone and we are going to combine these uh, like terms as you can see in this uh, next step. And now I am going to move everything uh, on the other side. As you can see in this uh, next step we are ended up with 2 times r square minus 16 r plus 30 equal to 0. And now I am going to divide each and every term by 2 across uh, the board. So therefore we are ended up with uh, r square minus uh, 8r plus 15 equal to 0. And now we can see that we got this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping uh, and uh, factoring. You may use the quadratic formula to solve this uh, quadratic equation as well. So therefore let's focus on this uh, 15. 15 could be broken down to 3 times uh, 5 isn't it? And now let's focus on this uh, middle term negative 8r. This could be tweaked as uh, negative 3r minus uh, 5r. As you can see in this uh, next step here we can see between first two terms uh, r is in common and between last two terms negative 5 uh, is in common. So therefore we can write uh, uppercase R outside. So we got R minus uh, 3. I'm going to factor out negative 5 over here. So we got uh, R minus uh, 3 over here as well. And now we can see R minus 3 and R minus 3 is in common. So therefore we can write uh, R minus 3 times uh, R minus uh, 5 equal to 0 and now we are going to separate these two factors. As you can see in this uh, next step we are ended up with the r equals to 3 and the other value of r is uh, 5. And now we are going to check which uh, value of r is going to be feasible for us. So therefore let's make an observation. We can see that uppercase r is greater than uh, 
lower case uh, r and now we know that uh, our uh, lower case r equals to 8 uh, minus upper case r so therefore i'm going to replace this uh, lower case r by 8 minus upper case r over here as you can see in this uh, next step i have uh, replaced this uh, lower case r by this uh, right hand side and now let's add r on both sides this is uh, gone so therefore uh, 2 times r turns out to be greater than uh, 8 and now we are going to divide both sides by 2 so therefore we can see that our uppercase r value must be greater uh, than uh, 4 and since uh, our r value must be bigger than 4 so therefore we are going to accept this r equals to 5 value and we are going to reject this r equals to 3 value so thus our uppercase uh, r value turns out to be 5 centimeter and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, semicircle which is equal to pi times r squared divided by 2 and our r value is uh, 5 so therefore we are going to substitute this value so pi times 5 whole square divided by 2 so therefore we got 25 times pi divided by 2 so therefore the area of this purple semicircle is going to be 12.5 times pi centimeter square so thus the area of this purple semicircle turns out to be 12.5 pi centimeter square and in terms of uh, decimals it's going to be approximately equal to 39.27 centimeters square as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye